Have you ever wondered what really makes a difference between bismuth and lead when it comes to stopping power? Choosing the right ammunition can be crucial, especially for those who take hunting or personal defense seriously. If you're the kind of person who values every detail, then you know that even the smallest factor matters. But can bismuth, with all its modern advantages, truly surpass the traditional lead, which has been a go-to choice for decades? Today we're taking a closer look at both options and discovering which one truly makes an impact. Before we dive into this detailed comparison, make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit the notifications button so you don't miss any more content like this. Leave a like if you're enjoying the topic, and at the end, let us know what you think about this showdown between bismuth and lead. Your comment might even influence the next video, so be part of the conversation. Let's go on this journey to find out which one delivers the best stopping power. 1. What is stopping power? When we talk about stopping power, we're not just talking about wounding the target, but rather how a bullet can neutralize a threat quickly and effectively. Stopping power is directly related to how much energy the ammunition transfers to the target. For example, a bullet that causes a massive wound and quickly transfers energy has higher stopping power because the target is incapacitated almost instantly. But of course, it's not always about brute force. Precision and the type of projectile also play important roles in this context. If we think practically, imagine a hunting scenario. The goal is for the animal to be ethically taken down without prolonged suffering. For that, stopping power is essential. Similarly, in a self-defense situation, the ammunition needs to be able to stop a threat without giving them a chance to retaliate. This is where we begin comparing bismuth and lead. Which of these can deliver the impact and penetration necessary to ensure effectiveness? Let's find out in the following sections. 2. The tradition of lead lead is almost iconic when it comes to ammunition. For many years, it has been the material of choice because of its density and penetration capabilities. A lead bullet, being heavier than other materials, tends to cause more internal damage, increasing its stopping power. For hunting enthusiasts, lead has always been a reliable choice, especially when the goal is a quick, clean kill. However, lead has its challenges, especially in today's world. Environmental concerns and lead's toxicity have sparked a movement towards greener alternatives like bismuth. But do these new options really offer the same level of performance as lead? After all, no one wants to sacrifice effectiveness, especially in critical moments. So, is it worth trading tradition for something newer? That's a question many hunters and shooters are asking themselves. 3. The rise of bismuth now. Speaking of bismuth, we're dealing with a more modern, eco-friendly material. It's been gaining popularity as an alternative to lead, especially in areas where lead use has been restricted or even banned. Bismuth is less toxic and, interestingly, has a density quite similar to lead. This makes it an attractive option for those looking to maintain good stopping power while being more environmentally conscious. However, bismuth isn't perfect. It tends to be more expensive, and depending on the situation, it might not offer the same penetration as lead, but it makes up for it with its ability to expand upon impact maximizing internal damage, and maintaining a high stopping power. So if your focus is on using cleaner ammunition, bismuth is a viable alternative. But the big question here is, can it truly compete with lead in every scenario? 4. Environmental Impact and Legal Considerations Beyond technical performance, many hunters and shooters are now paying attention to the environmental implications and legal regulations. As mentioned earlier, lead has faced significant criticism for its environmental impact, especially in hunting and fishing areas where it can contaminate soil and water. Because of this, some U.S. states have started restricting the use of lead ammunition, forcing many to switch to alternatives like bismuth. This brings up an important point. If laws are changing and bismuth seems like the more eco-friendly option, is it worth sticking with lead? Perhaps it's time to consider not only stopping power, but also the long-term impact of what we're putting into the environment. If regulations continue on this path, 
it won't be long before lead becomes even more restricted and bismuth or other options take over the market. 5. What's right for you? In the end, the choice between bismuth and lead will depend on your needs and priorities. If you're looking for ammunition that offers maximum stopping power and local regulations still allow the use of lead that might remain your best option. However, if you're concerned about environmental issues or simply prefer something more modern and green, bismuth definitely deserves your attention. Of course, it's always important to test both options in the field before making a final decision. Sometimes, what works for one shooter might not be ideal for another. The key is finding the balance between the performance you need and the impact you're willing to have. And speaking of which, have you ever used bismuth or are you still loyal to lead? Drop a comment below and let us know what you think of these two options.